All right, what's up, guys? So IGN has uploaded the official 1.0 launch trailer for the game Zero Hour. For those that don't know what Zero Hour is, Zero Hour is a it's a tactical shooter game. It's kind of like if you've seen uh videos on that game, Ready or Not, like the yeah, it's like the SWAT team simulator game. Uh, Zero Hour, it's like a blend of that and I think like some military stuff too. So it kind of like adds in um both, but. I, I remember I played a little bit of Zero Hour. I never really had got into it, but I'm I'm open to playing the game again. You know, hopefully with this uh with this trailer, you know, it convinces me because I I am uh, currently looking for a new uh shooter game and stuff. So I yeah I might um check out Zero Hour again. But anyways, uh with that being said, make sure if you guys haven't go subscribe to IGN. If my voice sounds a little bit weird, it's because I am currently recovering from COVID. I still got it, but yeah, I'm just in the recovery stages of it and stuff, but anyways. Hi, I'm Miraj, a producer on Zero Hour. The team and I are thrilled to share an inside look at our co-op gameplay experience. In Zero Hour, you and up to nine friends can team up to tackle story nine? missions inspired Ow. by real-world police emergency scenarios set in Bangladesh. That's a lot, though. I feel like most games would be like four people and then that's it. Nine, though? That's crazy. In this video, we're diving into a mission that takes place at the Ambassador's residence, where terrorists have attacked and taken the Ambassador and his family hostage. As we approach the side entrance, four other players are simultaneously scouting and preparing to this beat from the opposite that, side. This game ain't that expensive either. That's what's so dope about this game. I it, it just from the little that I have played of it. Still though, I look at it as like, man, they are offering a lot, and it's like, fam, I think this game, it's like, it's less than twenty dollars. Squad is stacked and ready to breach the door with a C2 charge. Suspects right? seem to have surrendered. <laughs> Was it really Let's that clear bad? the room next door. After clearing this corner of the building, we cautiously advance. That was the other team reaching for their C2. You can hear one of the suspects suppressing our teammate. So I take him out from behind and help him proceed forward. One of the unique aspects of Zero Hour is our procedural prop placement, ensuring every playthrough feels fresh and unpredictable. Oh. While two of our members escort the ambassador's wife and their child, we continue forward. VIP has been freed. Nice job. I might have to cop this game again. Let's stack up on these doors and breach with flashbangs. Do not move. The chef of the house seems to be holed up in this room, and as per procedure, we zip tie him. Just cooperate with us. The kitchen seems clear, but we found a document which we'll take as evidence. Well, that wraps up this mission's showcase. Now let's shift focus to an earlier mission in the game. I know, I was like, dang, that was fast. Set in a lower class district within the main city. In this mission, we've been called in to extract a potential hostage reported through a 999 call and shut down a terrorist operation. One of our teammates is scouting the area with a drone while the rest of the team coordinates our strategy using the planning table. I've also brought along Milo, our friend's adorable canine companion. I know, I did see that. I was like, I see that you can't have a dog. I'm more. telling you right now, I get this game and one of them uh, terrorist people shoot my dog. That's it. How about like, all oh, y'all, I, I would not turn that game off. And I'm like, each and every one of you guys got to pay. Efficiently. Milo seems to have gotten a good bite. He still got okay. I was about to say, I'm like, sir, you're a fool if you ball. try to get up and try to fight with them guys. 
I think that is something that I would like would recommend working on with the developers. Like maybe have it where when he gets bit, he drops the gun. Cause I feel like there'll be some people. I don't know if that would matter if uh like if I'm playing the game, I think he's gonna get up and get the shooting and I um shoot him anyways. Like I don't know if that would take away points for me completing the mission or if it would like it wouldn't matter. But I would recommend like I guess to eliminate a person from shooting them if they're going to surrender and stuff like have it where they drop the weapon a little bit faster because knowing me i'm, I'm trigger happy with this stuff like that he didn't even look up the stairs like that's using the breaker switch we can cut off the power and turn on our nvg there are some stairs they went around i definitely so look up them stairs the first because one of them guys could be standing there Every decision counts, and every mission can go from success to failure in a split second. Whether you succeed or fail, the intensity and realism keep you coming back for more. Thank you for joining us for this mission showcase. Stay tuned for more updates and see you on the field. I can. Oh yeah, they. Uh, yeah, they did. They were um, talking about that on Steam. How this uh, this update just came because they had like a whole thing promoting it on uh, Steam. Like they had it. Like you go to the early access section. It was like it had like a banner thing for this. But no, I can. Uh, I could get with it. It's definitely a game where I'm like I should. Um, I should pick it up because I'm like I. You know I am looking for a new shooter game, but it don't cost that much either. Like it. Oh, they must. Uh, I think they did raise the price. Oh, is it not an early access uh, game no more? Oh, maybe that's what this update was all about. Like they were removing it from early access, and so now it's just it's um it's it's like it's not an early access game no more. But still, it's still cheap. It's only eighteen ninety nine, and so that's I'm like nah, bro. It's like that's uh that's pretty dope. But then they also got like a um like a gold pack. What's this? Yeah, it's like a gold pack where it's just I think it's like some cosmetic uh stuff where um. Yeah, it's just like I yeah, some like cosmetic things probably for your weapon or character or something. But anyways, uh yeah, guys, I definitely recommend y'all go check that game out if you want to. But anyways, make sure if you guys haven't go subscribe to IGN for more videos like this. Like, subscribe to me too, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and peace.